lab coat agents. Today we've got Firepoint on, and we've got Tom and Gabe, and of course my business partner Nick Baldwin. And but today more importantly, we're talking Tristan, about how team leads get others to pay for their tech. That's a that's a pretty sexy topic, guys. Yeah, can I just say something? Can I just say something? Yes. I'm not just your business partner. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, where's this going? Where's this going? You know what? We talked about this, Tristan. We're, we're live, Nick. <laughs> that was. Sorry. <laughs> we'll talk about it later in therapy. Yeah, yeah there you go. Okay, so I guess we had that Beyonce song. If you like it, you better put a ring on it. Type song going through my head at that point. So I were. I really want to know. I really want to. I really want to know about this topic because it's something that Sunshine and I are working on right now. Right, like how to get vendors and to like you know supplement your tech spend which is i think everyone wants to know and still be obviously compliant right and within the laws well i think i think that's key and, and tom can talk to this a lot too but it's it's um you know for, first of all you know we, we've all as agents been asked out to lunch a thousand times a million times right they always want to go uh take us to lunch whether it's a lender or a home inspector or a title person or home warranty and <clears throat> this is something years and years and years ago i was like stop taking me to lunch let's just let's work together Right. And, but what you said is right. We got to do it the legal way, the right way. And you can, uh, and, uh, instead of going to lunch, let's, let's work together and, and, and build business. Right. Let's, let's do that. And I think really okay, that's the approach. And, and Tom has really kind of owned this part of, of core group and the vendor program. But, but that's one thing that we hear from the tech side as well is like, man, I want to get in. I want these tools, but everything adds up, whether it's, you know, Firepoint, Y Lopo coaching, whatever it is, <clears throat> advertising lead gen, uh, you know, how do you pay for it all? And, and, and you can do it, but we can also partner, right? The, the, the business benefits everyone. And I think what Tom's done really well and, and he can speak to is, is how do you make it a win-win? It's not like, you're not just going to come on my team and be a, a, a partner or a vendor, uh, just because you're willing to give us a paycheck. It's you have to bring value and a, and a good job and the clients have to like you. So I guess kind of, how did it start and how do you approach those people, Tom? I guess you, you do that. So me it's a relationship it's it's all about the relationships we build relationships with our clients all the time um and so we become their trusted advisors the people that they go to for information on you know everything uh that's just related to real estate so it's important to have a really good relationship with your clients and with the vendors we are out there working constantly with these vendors and utilizing their resources to help our clients out and so forth so um, it's really kind of building that re referral network as well. Um, it, to me, that's what it's all about. And we, like Gabe said, we go out to lunch with these people. We use these people, and if they're good, we use them again and again and again. And pretty soon, you know, they become our preferred vendors, whether they're paying, you know, uh, to be help us with marketing or whatnot. Um, you know, they're still there and helping our clients to the best of their ability. So we really kind of started with that. We started actually very the very first one that we brought on was a lender, a lender that we you know, really utilized, came to trust her, knew that she would uh, provide the best service for the clients. Um, I was sitting down and having a conversation and saying, hey, how can we partner together to do joint marketing uh, ventures, get you guys into, you know, into our system, into our CRM, um, and work together to be able to, you know, provide better service for our clients. At the end of the day, that's really what it is, is to be able to provide better service for our clients um, and give them options uh, for vendors. Yeah. Well, and it's lenders are an easy one to start with, right? Because we, we work with them so much and um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's easy to refer to one or two lenders and um, a lot of our systems, right? Whether again, it's Firepoint or whatever, when you're, when you're working and prospecting leads, it's not just about, um, you know, handing them off. It's also about that conversion. A lot, a lot of the webinars we've talked about is that lead conversion. And what starts happening is when you're in the systems and, and you and the lender and others are, are using the same systems and paying for the same systems. Now also that conversion, you're getting multiple touches, right? So it's the lender, it's the agent, it's everybody communicating in one general place, the lead distribution, right? Cause we all work with multiple lenders. Cause how many do you guys have Tom, different loan officers you're working with? We have two. We have two currently and, lenders. And at one point we were up to, we were up to five with two different uh, companies. Um, and so all of them were in our system. Now we're down to two to keep it easier to maintain. But what's cool, like, it, Oh, go ahead. How do you decide when to go for a second lender from a first lender? Like say, 
Uh, how many leads should you be giving to one lender or what are the expectations you set for them? To me, it wasn't about the number of leads. To me, it was, is our lender keeping up with our, the leads that we're giving them? And when they start faltering and start not making their phone calls and not following up with leads that we tag them in in the CRM, um, then that's when we knew it was time to add a new lender and bring a new lender on. Got it. Well, and sometimes too, and again, it's not just leads, right? Because lenders can't really buy leads. They can, they can, they can share in marketing and all that. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know, it's, it's not like Tom says, not about the leads. It's, it's about, can they service? Because if you think about your team of, say you just have a team of four or five agents, whatever it is, the leads are coming in, the agents are getting a fifth or a quarter or whatever of the lead rotation. But if you have one lender, they're getting all of it. Right. And the, and, and really that follow up and that nurturing, that conversion should be coming from both sides. So, um, you know, what we saw when we had multiple lenders, and I think both of Tom's lenders are doing this now, is when your lenders have their own ISA team, right? We've talked about on the, on the, on the agent side, making sure you have, if the, if the agents can't do the follow-up, make sure you have, you know, an in-house ISA or agentology or, or conversion models, whoever you're using, helping with that follow-up, guys, your lenders should be doing the same thing, right? Everybody has the same goal. Um, and I, I, I know, Tom, you guys track this, but but your lender should be handing over almost as many opportunities as the agents are to the lender when you're doing this correctly, right? right? Cause, cause the lender's helping you, you know, pay for the systems and for the, for the, the marketing that's bringing in the opportunity, they should do it. Which but we, think, we see our lenders are, you know, messaging every so often saying, Hey, I've got this person pre-qualified. It's time to go look at homes. Please reach out. It's, you know, they're expecting a call from you. So it is, it's a, it's a partnership with the lender. So, Tom, I want you to say that again, like, so, because, and if you guys are watching, I don't, if you're an agent or a broker, listen to what Tom just said, say that again. What are the, what are the lenders doing? The lenders are messaging us and letting us know that they've pre-qualified the lead and it's time to go searching. So they're letting us know that they've actually got that person, even though we may not have been able to get in contact with that person, because maybe they're not, they weren't ready for a real estate agent, but they were ready for the lender. So the lender reached out to us and said, Hey, they're ready to go, go show up, you know, call them. They're expecting a call from you. I let them know you'd be calling to take them out and show them property. They are, you know, qualified for this amount. We're looking at this, you know, price point. So, and, and this is all happening in the CRM. This is a sweet spot. So, I mean, and this is not a bash on lenders, right? We we love working with lenders, but typically, if you're not doing something like this, you might get a referral or two a year from your lender, right? Because they're working with multiple agents. But when you really build a business and you start building this this vendor partnership program with lenders, home inspectors, home warranty companies, HVAC companies, and we'll show you the list that Tom's working with, all of a sudden you're getting multiple a month because everybody has the same goal. Everybody's working in the same system in the back end, like again, like in, in, in FirePoint or something where you can see what's going on, you know, the, the, the text, the emails that are going out, directing people to the vendor uh, page, which we'll show you here in a minute. All of a sudden, these people that you build around you, you're doing more deals together. You have this common vision of, of moving the business needle forward. And the vendors love it because the goal again is, right, as a team is you're growing your team more and more agents. So now they're not out shaking hands and going to lunch with a bunch of agents who might sell one or two homes a year. They're now working with a team that has the same goal that's all working with the same partners uh, working together. Exactly. That makes sense. So, well, and, and then Tristan, part two of your question as well, um, is some lenders like, yeah, I'm going to come in and I'll, I'll, I'll help cover part of the CRM because I want to be part of it so I can see what's going on. And yeah, let's do some, some PPC, right? Well, you might have another lender that wants to come in and say, hey, I want to partner with you on YLOPO. Let's do some more of it. Oh, got it. Going. And they do that or Zillow, right? So what's cool then when you have the right tools is you can tell, you go into FirePoint and just say, hey, when a lead comes in from PPC, it's going to go to these agents and go to these lenders because that's who's partnering in that. Here's who's partnering in Zillow or Realtor.com or YLOPO. When that comes in, capture it and assign it um, to these. So everybody is really, you know, partnering in the same uh, uh, lead sources that they're helping contribute to, to generate or, you know, uh, or convert. So, so that's also another tool where there might be other opportunities where other lenders might want to come to the table and help you, uh, you know, generate and convert. So as, as we started seeing the, the whole online lead generation thing grow, and we had the opportunity to start bringing in lenders and other people to help us pay some of the cost. Uh, I've been doing it from like year one. And what I found is that sometimes I brought in the lender thinking that because he was a great friend and I was working well with him, he understood the online world. And 
<laughs> and I was terribly disappointed a few times <laughs> when I brought them in and they're like, well, I, I didn't know we were supposed to follow up, keep you informed, <laughs> continually call these clients. And I'm, exactly, yes. It's the old world of where lenders used to live where it was like, just give me them when they're ready, right? And to me, I still find some lenders out there that are like that. And so for those people that are wondering, does my lender fit? That's one of the criteria you have to look at. Do they understand the world that we live in getting these online leads? All four of us do, but there are agents and lenders who don't. So that to me is a huge criteria. Well, and yeah, I'd like to job. I'd like to hear Oh, sorry. I just want to interject uh, and, and, and go off of that too. So, you know, my team is very heavy on, on, on prospecting by phone every day, Monday through Friday, you know, they're on the phones nine to 12 and we get hundreds of leads a month from Facebook and Zillow. And so there's always an influx of leads coming into the system. And so we've gone through a couple lenders that, that said, Oh yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And they weren't ready for the influx. And now we say, okay, listen, Here's the systems we have in place. If you don't have a system, they go, what's your ROI? I'm like, I'll tell you what my ROI is. I go, but your ROI is directly related to how much work you're going to put into following up. If you don't have the technology or the systems or the people, it's going to be zero. So we set really clear expectations. That's really important. Yep, absolutely. I mean, and, and to be, let's be fair to lenders a little bit there too, just because I'm sure we have some lenders watching this. Same thing happens with agents on our teams, right? You recruit, you tell them, hey, I need help because we've got all these leads coming in that need to be followed and, and we're using, you know, uh, uh, Yloco and they're engaging them. You literally just have to start reaching out and the same thing. They're not ready for it. They say, yeah, I want it, but then they don't do it. And it is the same thing in lender. And Tom, you guys... Um, they'll make the three, first three or four phone calls just like lenders, and then they'll just kind of like, oh, they're not responding. Let's go on to the next lead. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Tom, you guys, I mean, and again, it's about quality control, right? It's not just who's willing to pay. So let's, let's be really clear if you're thinking about doing this. It's not just who's willing to pay, who's going to put the work in, like Tristan said, he had somebody that didn't, but also who's doing a good job. You have to have quality control because right. at the end of the day, this is still your brand. And mm -hmm. you know, whether it's $500 or $5,000 a month you're getting from a lender or anybody in your vendor program, they have to do something really good. And Tom, you guys do like, is it quarterly meetings or something you, yeah. where you follow up and send surveys to make sure? Yeah, so we do a variety of, of things um, with our clients and with the vendors and the agents and stuff like that. We do have a quarterly um, event where we get the vendors and the agents together in a outside setting, like whether it's bowling, whether it's going you know, out to a, you know, see a movie together or whatnot. We try to do outings like that so that the vendors and the agents are getting to know each other. Because once again, it's that relationship building. It's knowing who you're recommending when you send them to a client. So it's important that everybody knows each other. So we try to do those. And then once a quarter, I do meet with the, the vendors and give them feedback from our agents and from our clients and say, hey, here's what our agents and our clients are saying. How can we make this a little bit better? Or you're doing a great job. Congratulations. Let's have a, a drink on, you know, on me uh, and stuff like that. So it's really that. Um, that check or uh, check what you expect, inspect what you expect, because you need to like make sure that they are following up, that you're getting feedback. A perfect example: I just got some feedback this morning, actually, from one of my clients that our inspector kind of blew her off and uh, you know, triggered me. And so now I'm setting up a meeting next week with him to sit down and say, "Hey, what's going on? Are you overloaded? Do we need to get another inspector on our vendor program? Because I can't have this. I can't have our clients come back saying you're rude to them. You can't." service them, you're, you're not available and whatnot. So it's a perfect example of kind of that relationship and having to have those hard conversations and stuff. There's a, there's a question from the audience. Laura Pentecost is asking, how do I find lenders to work with? Should I have more than one as part of the team? Question mark. So two separate questions there. To me, it was find you know the, what lenders do you tend to go to? Which ones that you know have good you know or provide good service to their clients and have a good book of um, products available to clients? Um, we were lucky and fortunate enough to have started really early in our career with uh, one of our lenders, and so it was just natural to go to her and say, "Hey, let's start to partner up." Um, it was someone that we were you know referring back and forth with uh, in the meantime. So it's really kind of. What lenders have you encountered that do a really good job that are on top of their game um, when it comes to communication, when it comes to their clients and stuff like that? And start with that lender first. Um, and yeah, I like that. 
I like to end. Uh, my, my response to that is I agree with you, Tom. And what we've also done in the past and presently is sometimes when we have a friend that's, that's doing well in the industry with their lender that that's, has a similar model to we, that, uh, that we do, yeah. we ask, hey, look, does your lender have, have enough room for us? Because I don't want to take them on. And if he says, yeah, go ahead, call him. Then I'm like, all right, cool. Let's talk to them and see if it fits our world as well. So I look to other people that are successful with a similar model to me. Yeah. And then I go there. Um, well, it has to be a win-win, right? So, you know, who was it? Laura, I think. <clears throat> you have lenders you're working with, right? Again, I want to find somebody. What, what is your goal, Laura? Like, are you growing your, your business? Whether it's you're doing 10 homes wanting to get into 20 or if you're doing 30 wanting to get to 100, do you want to bring on a buyer's agent? <clears throat> Find a letter that wants to grow with you, first of all. The ones that are in business to grow business are going to want to do this. It's a no-brainer <clears throat> for them, right? But make sure they're willing to get in and put the work. Um, and, and, and honestly, what's great is when you're doing this, now you can afford better systems for your business to work together so that you can all communicate in one place and you are working you know, smarter, not harder, all communicating. Because you know, when we, we, uh, what a typical agent does is when they get off the phone with a, with a lead that wants to get approved, and they want to send them over. Oh, I got a great lender. I'll have them reach out, right? You hang up the phone. The typical agent's like gets an email or, or their phone. They're like, okay, uh, message Michelle. And I want them to call so-and-so. Here's their name. Here's the story. And you're like going, 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 right? What's great, actually, I'm just going to share a screen really quick. Like, <clears throat> What's really good is when you guys start you know, doing this and, you, and you're partnering with lenders the right way. So I can, uh, I can instantly see, okay, so Matthew, I can tell at a glance that this one's working with one of our lenders. So, yeah. And it's a Zillow that came in. So... I can just scroll to the bottom and I can quickly see as a team lead or if it's my lead, Zillow came, lead came in, they're asking about this property. I can see that Shauna took it and right here, see Shauna mentioned the lender. Hey, here's Matthew's fire point. So when she did this, Michelle, <clears throat> this is all Shauna had to type in when she had enter, our lender literally got a link to this lead's profile and has all the information of what he's looking at. And I can see Shauna or Michelle's post that she reached out to him. Looks like he's talking to another lender. She said it's always getting a second. So I know exactly what's going on, right? So everybody is just in the same profile and you can literally just kind of go through and communicate together in one, in one place. So uh, Tom, do you mind if I show your, your, your vendor page to kind of give people an idea? So I gotta, I gotta move the toolbar here, sorry. So <clears throat> what's great too is you get, everybody has their websites, right? So um, Tom has his website and he has this drop down where it says preferred vendors. What's fantastic is he can have also, he's got multiple lenders on here. Right, he's got one lender, two lender. He's got a, uh, his blind uh, company to do you know, new construction, cleaning services. Any of these things, whenever you start realizing you're sending referrals out in your business, right, heating and cooling, almost every inspection comes back what? Saying having the HVAC professionally cleaned and serviced, right? You send out a lot of referrals. Yeah, home inspectors, right? Whether there's one, two, home warranty companies. Home warranties of America, guys, first of all, like, I'm a huge believer in putting a, a home warranty on every contract. Protect your buyer, protect you. A lot of times you can, you can negotiate it, have the other side pay for it. Moving companies, anybody that you guys are doing, these people are all paying for advertising in one way or the other on websites, on Facebook, on remarketing, retargeting, and print. They will pay to advertise as well. Your website is, you know, when your consumers, when, you're, when your buyers and sellers are all coming to your website to search for homes, right? You're, you're getting thousands of people sometimes uh, put in front of these vendors. Of course, they're going to want to advertise on your website. Right, so it's really cool. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I'll show you. Tom, do you mind if I still, still, still one of your thunders on, on your templates that you guys use too? I had it, I had it all pulled up and ready to show myself. Sorry, I'm gonna let you do it, it's yours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Tom do it. I get excited, guys, you know this. So, <laughs> so, so what I love too is they've built this vendor page, right, where their agents have access. And so now, it's at, again, it's all about automating and making things easy. So show them some of the templates you've created like for different stages. Yeah, so let me go real quick over here, share this. <clears throat> oh, yeah, before you, all right, go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna finish uh, answering my, uh, Laura's question. So Laura, what I would do when you said where to go, talk to the lenders that you're currently referring to, right? Um, that are going to do it and find out who does, uh, some of them call it joint marketing or vendor programs, but who <clears throat> is willing to do some joint marketing and, and vendors. And again, it's all RESPA compliant. Your website on the front facing should have everything that's RESPA compliant so that you're doing this the right way, right? So just make sure your website and all of that is respite compliant, but it's just a matter of asking. You gotta get past that mental block and ask lenders, interview them, right? 
They want your business. They want to grow with you. I would find somebody who meets your style and just ask the question, right? It's almost just like picking up the phone to convert a lead. Get past the fear of, of, of rejection and just ask. Most of these lenders, if it's working and you guys are working together, they're going to be more than happy to do this with you. A uh, question in between that actually goes with what you're saying before I get to Tom. Sure. Uh, by Don, it says, what type of dollar amount are, are the vendors paying to be on the website? Is it a monthly or an annually uh, uh, dollar amount? I can tell you it varies. It depends on the vendor and it depends on how much business and how much activity you can give them. Opportunity. Yes. What do you provide? What service? What what do you, what can you and your team provide besides the marketing and besides the the you know the opportunities and stuff like that? What else do you service? So we have vendors that pay from fifty dollars all the way up to our lenders who are paying a couple thousand dollars monthly to be a part of all of our service. But we have numerous things that we do for them. Uh, for example, every time we have a closing, we send a we send a closing packet. It's a folder with a survey on one side seeing how did our agent do. But then on the other side, we have it filled with um, all kinds of coupons and stuff from our various vendors for different services and stuff like that that they provide uh, for us to put into that, that folder. Um, we have email templates that we send out to um, uh, random, you know, we have them incorporated into our campaigns and our CRM that says, hey, you haven't, we haven't talked in a while, but don't forget that we have you know, these vendors available to help you with any of your home needs and whatnot. Please continue to see the link so far so well just show us that so like I, I like so so it's about that value right so i love one of the things like when they go under contract right sure. it's also about providing service from our, our 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 spot right like the vendors want opportunities but we have to provide service to our clients at the end of the day in, in their best interest so i love how tom and his team do this yeah this is so this is Brittany. uh she's actually a client that we just literally got today a, certi a certificate of occupancy for a new construction that they're or they're moving into um so now it's time for the inspection time frame or to get the inspection going. So I've created an uh, email template within our system that we can go and, um, so I gotta move my bar here real quick. Um, I can go and I just pull up my uh, template. So congratulations, I'm gonna insert a video. Um, I can just highlight this, go to BombBomb, Bomb. I can insert a video. I'm not gonna do the whole video and everything right now, but I can go create a video. This basically be, hey, Brittany, it's time for the inspection. Congratulations, we got it. your house under contract. We got the certificate of occupancy. Um, you know, here below you'll see a link to our provider page so that you can go and find our inspector that we recommend um, that you use. Give them a call, find out what their cost is, and so forth. And uh, we'll send this email to them. Um, we also have this template created as a just a general one that goes out on some of our campaigns to buyers that we haven't had contact with or and past clients as well. Just reminding them once a quarter that, hey, we have these vendors. Don't forget if you need anything for your house. So it's continuously kind of getting those vendors out in front of, the, uh, in front of our um, clients. We've also created it as a text as well. So now we can actually go in and I could send it as a text if I wanted to. Um, just go in. Let me move my bars again. Apologize. Uh, darn, darn Zoom. Uh, Right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can go in and I can link it to my vendors. Uh, insert a video, same thing. Hey, congratulations, we got it, blah, blah, send a text. So what's it. really cool, Tom, actually click that, uh, hit delete there, delete that and insert a video. What's, what's, and you just insert one of your, you don't have to record a new one, just um, your, your bomb bomb icon there. Um, uh, what's really cool is, is again, you can, you can speed this up. You've got this link and it's taken them to that, to that page um where it's at and again you can you can make it personal about them it doesn't matter which one you answer we're not going to send it um and, and it goes right out to them and it links them to that page so again you're sending to a page where there's two or three home inspectors two or three lenders depending on on what you're sending and everything's going out so you can just make it really quick and easy to load so when you're talking to your vendors guys and you're thinking about incorporating it what's great when you have these tools is hey if you want to be on this page when we go under contract this is what we do we send this email or this text when we close we send a link back to this page reminding them, hey, moving can be expensive. We put together a list of vendors and partners that our clients love that may help you, whether it's cleaning, landscaping. I think, Tom, you guys like send a folder or a yeah. bunch of coupons and stuff too, and the vendors all provide the coupons and the discounts. Well, what's really cool is then Tom can just send it at closing, and it looks like he's gathered all these discounts and specials for the clients, but yet the vendors get it. 
and now it's putting their name and their phone numbers in every new homeowner's hands. So, so it's just really quick and easy. And, and again, that page, just lay it out on your website so that everybody has access to it. And again, we know, you know we're always uh, recommending more than one so you're staying compliant. So Exactly. It's not just here. It's also putting it into, you know, your listing presentation. We'll go on listing presentation. Mm -hmm. We have the service providers list in our booklets that we hand them and say, here's a, you know, here's some people that can help you get your home ready for getting on the market and stuff like that. So it's wherever you can think of to put them, put those vendors in there, they will pay more money per month if they see that value and see you do it going that extra step to go above. So that's hey, a, that's a good hey, point. There's hey, a question Tom, from Randy. Oh, I think I was going to ask the same question. Sure. Can you open up that link that you send and show us what that looks like? Yeah. That's the same one that Gabe kind of showed you guys. That's cool. Yeah, right there. Okay. So just basically it's a link that takes them right to that page. Yeah. The same one that Gabe pulled that's up earlier. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it's nice, right? So every time you go under contract or, 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 or closing, right? You just have that. And I love like that insert. So you can just highlight it and you don't get, you can make it easier if you wanted to, you can just have some blank text that says, congratulations, you're under contract. Be sure to schedule your home inspection. But it literally takes 30 seconds to insert a video right there where you can say their name. Hey, Brittany, Mark, congratulations. We're under contract. Uh, click the link down below, go schedule your home inspector. There's a couple on there. Our past clients have loved them. Obviously use whoever you want, but these guys are fantastic. We work with them a lot. That's cool that you have that list. It makes it a lot easier. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's incredible. So we've been talking a lot about lenders and a little bit about the other ones, but let's talk about other types of people that can come in and help out other vendors like inspectors, uh, like a home inspector, a termite inspector, maybe a home warranty company. Do you guys have all of those two that help out or how does that work? Yeah, we have our, we have our home warranty of America. Um, uh, they were our second, uh, basically our second vendors that we applied for. They were, they've actually um, come a long ways in creating their own uh, uh, vendor program, if you will, working with agents to help them create their vendor programs and stuff. So, um, uh, so we started with them and then, yeah, it went out to inspectors, obviously very, very. Um, Just scroll very through, Tom, I guess it's showing who you're working with. Our inspectors on there. What's that? Scroll through so they can kind of just see. And guys, you guys, anybody that's watching this can see the link and you yeah. guys can just go to Tom's site. We have a company that do, does blinds. They just recently added on more services because they have so much business coming in. Opportunities so now they cleaning and they do better cleaning and stuff like that. So um, they, we're, we're going to probably add them onto cleaning services as well. We have carpet cleaners. We have Junking. So Junking is a, a company that comes in and helps you just move everything and takes that to the dump or sends oh, it to that's cool. That. Um, so they're, they're paying to be on our site. Obviously, heating and cooling, home inspection, uh, moving companies. I mean, everybody needs a moving company when they move, right? Not really. A lot of people do it on their own. <laughs> but... Um, it's the, the moving company. We, you know, especially at, when it comes, to, you know, two weeks prior to closing, we send an email to our our buyers saying, "Hey, you're two weeks away from closing. We're almost ready there. Have you researched movers yet? Here, check out our moving company. Uh, you know, they provide great service and, and whatnot. Painting, obviously, uh, property management for those people who call up and say, I just, I'm just looking for rent because we all get those leads. Just looking to rent a property." So we send them to our property managers, the property management company, so that they can try to find a rental for them. And then, of course, the restoration slash handy. He's a handyman as well, so he does kind of a little bit of everything, though, restoration as well as um, uh, handyman work. And how many times have we you know, gone through the inspection and found mold up in the attic and whatnot that one needs to be remediated? So he gets a good bit of business from us. Also, I might add, if you add backlinks to these, I don't know if you add backlinks or not, um, but I'm sure that would also help SEO as well. It would, it would be. That's that's a tough one. I'm 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 not I'm a big fan of not making it easy for people to leave your home search site. Uh, SEO is great, but sometimes I'm a, I'm not a huge fan of of, of doing when that. But I, it does work. Yeah, but it could also help. Like if people are are googling, yes. you know, moving companies, that could help yeah. your home search site. Like rent. Yeah, especially if it was reciprocal, right? If if the if, if you're going to link to them and they link back to you, that'd be right. fantastic. Um, and guys, I, what Tom said, if you're listening to this, like really, this is a matter of asking, right? The 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 low hanging fruit. Let me just help you. Obviously, your lenders, right? Home inspectors, guys. Home inspectors, and I know it varies per per market, but what three hundred to five hundred dollars per home inspection in certain areas. They want those opportunities. Get two, get three. 
that's an easy two, 300 bucks a month. If you're doing business, right, they're getting the opportunities. They're going to see the value. It's a quick ROI for them. Um, any home warranty company, I think, but home warranties of America, they love doing this. If you're doing business, and, and again, every team is different, but I'm a firm believer. Every contract should have a home warranty put on it, and then it's the client's decision to take it off, right? So then it releases liability from you. Like, hey, I put it on there, but you asked me to take it off. And a lot of times you can negotiate it. Man, if you're putting those on there and they're working with you, I guarantee you they're going to help you generate and do more business. I guarantee you. Uh, Molly Stewart, I think, is, is her name. In fact, she was at the LCA event. Guys, Home Warranty America, sorry, I'm going to plug them a second. They're, they're fantastic. Yeah, we love, we love Home Warranty, so. Yeah. So they're so, the official Home Warranty love, company yeah. of LabCode agents. So. Yes, they are the official LCA Home Warranty Sweet. company. D easy. This is this is easy. Um, we have another vendor that's not on the list. I just realized uh, a roofer. We have Eagle Eye Roofing Company. They're just a newer vendor. We just haven't had been, been able to update this one yet. So there's another company, Roofing. You know how many times does, does do you get an inspection that says the roof looks like it's at the end of its life? It needs a you know to be certified for three more years. So, we'll send them do out. You mind, do you so, mind sharing? Like how much a month are you pulling in on your vendor program that's helping you? pay for all this we're just under five uh five thousand dollars a month Woo! wow yeah. Yeah. i mean and and i mean i i know people that are in the 10 12 right depending yeah. on how much business you're doing you know you can scale this so guys this is this is this is easy to do it's like do it the right way but yeah agents, agents man they're we're constantly getting called wanting our credit cards and wanting us to pay for stuff and you do have to spend money to make money i'm a firm believer but we work with people in this industry and if you have the right relationships, right? It's all about building relationships. They will help you do this. Now don't ask for a check and not give any opportunities back. That's the wrong way to go about this. Find the people that you're working with and build your businesses together, right? I'd rather work with, you know, 10 to 15 professionals that I need right in my, in my sphere to run my real estate company and work together, right? When you find those people, magic happens and they're bringing you value. There are times where they're going to come in and say, I, uh, uh, Tom just had one like, Hey, uh, it was this painter. I think, didn't they come to you and say, Hey, send out some coupon to your whole, what was that? Yeah, that's a, that's another one. Uh, part of what we provide for our, um, our, uh, vendors is we do a monthly coupon, a monthly thank you for your business, uh, postcard that goes out. We go through postcard media. We create a postcard each month with some kind of a service, whether it's, one of our vendors, whether it's a local restaurant that's offering a free appetizer, you know, it's a great way to kind of pull other people into, into our program. Um, but we send a postcard to all of our past clients. We have over a thousand or 1500 past clients over the year from over the years. So we send them this postcard saying, Hey, thank you for your business. Here's a you know, special deal just for you this month. Um, you know, and it, it, a painter, a painter with a $500 off of a, a paint job. So he would, we had him over to our house to do a, a paint job, and he's like, "Thank you so much! Like I got a couple, uh, a couple uh, leads off of it, and one of them, you know, actually used me to, to paint their house. Um, they got a good deal because they got the five hundred off. I got the extra business and, and whatnot. So that's another one of the things that we provide uh, for our vendors, as well as you know, we're trying to do an annual um, appreciation uh, lunch for our past clients. So we're going to have the vendors there. Um, we sponsor our local uh, Humane Society. Uh, we do a pet food drive for them every year so the vendors can come to that and set up a booth um, at the pet food drive so as people are coming and dropping off food, you know, they can see the vendors and stuff like that. So it's, it's all about that, like providing all that you can to the vendors to get them ex out there and expose or getting them exposed. So how do can we, you, how do you, you approach you, these wait, people? Can you post that link in the, in the chat box, please, so I can uh, send it to somebody? Yep, I got it. Tom, how do you approach um, a roofer or a swimming pool guy? What, what's the what's the what's the script? Your script? It's just hey, are you interested in doing some joint marketing? Um, we've got a great program here. Let me go through all the details on what you get out of it, um, and just have that list. What are you going to provide for them? How many clients are you? How many closings are you doing? How many people do you get past clients? Do you have that you can send? You know either that that. Um, that uh, postcard to or you know something in a packet and an email um it's really just kind of being prepared as far as what you have to offer um and kind of in your mind what price point you feel that they're going to be um you know that they'll accept 
if you go in and say, you know, I want $200 a month, and they're like, oh, gosh, no, there's no way you can give me that much business, then you know you're too high, and you might have to scale it back a little bit. So kind of knowing how much business that you can provide and really having those details. But it's an easy conversation of just calling them up and saying, hey, I've got this great marketing program, joint marketing program I'd love to discuss with you. Let's go grab some coffee. On it. So I can help you increase your business and in turn help me with my business. Well, and let's, 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 let's face it. How many phone calls, Tristan, do we have incoming as agents and team leads, right? So that, that's a very easy conversation if you just – Anyway, like, yes, I'd love to chat with you. Let's, let's meet at my, I would do it at my office. I'm not, I don't need a cup of coffee. I don't need lunch, right? I can do that on my own. Come into my office. Let's talk and see how we can help each other. And I talk about the vendor program. What do you bring together? What do you offer to my clients? Let me show you my database, how many people are in here, how you could fit in. Perfect. If we were to do something together, <clears throat> the painter for, you know, hundred bucks a month, you'll be on here. You'll be on the list that goes out with every, uh, every pending, every sold. Uh, we'll do a, maybe a spring and a fall paint special whatever it is, right? Or a move-in special. Do you need to repaint or touch up the walls from the previous owners? Here's $100 off, you know, or $100 credit toward whatever it is. Just find a way to add value. And I would look at it from, you guys have heard me talk, like focus on the service, not the sale. How can you provide service to the, to the vendor partner? In turn, though, make it a service to your clients, right? So now we're reaching out to our clients and our databases, offering something of value, not saying, hey, have you seen any homes lately you want to go look at? Right. <laughs> Tired of hearing that. The thing I loved about the, the paint special Tom and them sent out is all of a sudden as people are reaching out, your vendors should be letting you know who's, who's reaching out. And when do people a lot of times, you know, there's two times when they really think about repainting their home. It's either A, they're, they love it and they want to stay there forever or they're thinking about selling. Right. So now all of a sudden you might be able to help start identifying who's selling in your database, what's going on. So there's lots of things that this vendor program can help fuel. And it's just about Who's reaching out to you wanting to take you to lunch? Who are you referring business to? And that's how you start. I think somebody said, where do I start small? Laura again, just find the people. Start small. And I don't know how many deals you're doing, Laura, but I would start lender, home inspectors, home warranty, right off the bat. Those are three easy ones that you can start with. And in some areas, um, if you have pest inspections that you have to do, whatever you are sending out on every single deal, just look at your contract. When you talk to a buyer, you get a new leader, you go under contract, who am I reaching out to and providing opportunity to? Lenders, home inspectors, pest inspectors, HVAC companies. Those are the easy ones. Like I want to make sure, A, that you are qualified to service my clients, and then let's work together so I can get more and more. I would just take that approach to it. Hey, Tom, uh, Dawn Cordner actually has a question. She wants to know if you have a contract in place for this with your oh, vendor. Good, good question. I actually have it pulled up and can show you guys. Let me just go here, let me share. So yeah, I have this marketing agreement. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's a very simple marketing agreement. I believe it's three pages. Um, just kind of goes through and just <clears throat> some basic terms um, that we're gonna you know, promote them, expect them to promote us as well, provide you know, good service, uh, so forth. It does have the section in here for the monthly fees. Um, it's okay. a month, month agreement, so they can, you know, they just need to give us 30 days to cancel if they want, um, and so forth. So, okay, so, so first of all, I'm going to need you to send that to me. And second of all, <laughs> uh, so I can copy and paste. Second of all, now, how does this stay compliant, right? So you don't get in trouble. Let's um, talk about it. Uh, it's just, it's a marketing agreement. It's a joint marketing agreement. Okay. So that, um, I this, got this is something that's, so as long as they're not yeah, paying, most of our vendors will sign because it's just a, market, a joint, joint marketing agreement. There's no guarantees. There's no promises. Um, okay. Now, with the lenders, we've had to right. Do that's what I mean. With the lenders and stuff like that, with home inspectors, it's different. But with lenders and title, you got to. Yeah. How does that? Work? It's joint marketing, not buying leads, right? You're not buying leads no. or buying transactions. You're not fee splitting. You're doing joint marketing. Oh, right? gotcha. Okay, so that is opportunities. Yeah, Right. I got you. So you're prom I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And lenders are different. I don't think the lenders actually sign this, right, Tom? They usually have their own agreement or it's just yeah, joint marketing. The, the lenders won't sign different. this one. The lenders will have their own. They go through their lawyers and they create their own. Uh, okay. It's usually, you know, like I said, like Gabe mentioned, paying for part of the platform for CRM or paying Zill half of Zillow advertising costs uh, and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, and, and, and Tom does it month to month, and I've chatted with a lot of people that have done this too and started up. I'm a big fan of quarterly, 
when you get these, do it quarterly and do a quarterly review, right? You want to make sure, are you getting positive feedback on the vendors? Do it, then you're, it, it also helps with, with billing, right? And when it's coming in and paying for this stuff. I'm a big fan of quarterly. Um, it just, just makes it easier. And it's going to take more than 30 days probably to make sure you're getting a return. So um, I think it's fantastic. Um, uh, and it, uh, Don made another comment. And yes, Don, uh, we, we're going to see you later. So we'll, we'll bring a copy of that, uh, whether you buy drinks or not, but we'll definitely take the drink. Um, <laughs> oh, um, you said Wilopo also. Yeah, so that's a great thing when you work with the right technology too. Like when it comes to lenders, when you're doing this, guys, you don't even have to, once you just have a lender that wants to participate, Firepoint, we'll do that for you. Uh, Wilopo will do that for you, right? We'll take care of the billing because you should never, ever exchange money with a lender, ever, right, as, as an agent. Uh, let, that's all RESPA. That's completely different. Let it go through the website. It's, web, it's, it's compliant. They're paying for the space on the site and all that. Vendors are a little bit different, right? You're getting all the marketing materials. You're sending out their name, their number to your database. They're paying for the marketing and the opportunities. And always try to have more than one on the website. And again, we're sending them the link. We're Go and only use this one, right? Here's a link to our preferred vendors that our clients have used love that we've got great feedback on to make it easier for you to reach out to them. So it's all about giving them the opportunity and the exposure to your databases. And that's the key, right? That's why we say get, get an all-in-one, get a CRM, get everything in one place. When you start building that CRM and that database, that's what your business is made out of. That's how you get these opportunities because you can actually show the value to everybody and what's going on. That's awesome. Okay, perfect. Well, dude, I, I love the value. I'm, I'm actually texting with with Jacob right now, already trying to come up with some ideas as you can yeah, see. Yeah, I've been texting with Sunshine too, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think what we can do, because a lot of people are gonna want this in, in lab coats and in the real estate world, what we could do is, is offer some type of an incentive where if they put in their information, they can get this as a download. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna create, we're requesting a, funnel. This. We'll create a funnel. The, we'll create a funnel uh, for you guys. So I have Nick as my interpreter. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> Tom's, uh, Tom's, Tom's willing to share this too. In fact, Tom talked about this a little bit at LabCo in San Diego, right? We had like 50 yeah. people come up and ask for copies of this, you know, agreement. And there, there's more than enough business out there to go around. So I, I know he's more than willing to share with it. So however you guys want to do it, we just want to help. I mean, from, from Firepoint standpoint, we want you to help grow your business and have the right tools. And you shouldn't have to pay for all of it, right? There are people who are willing to help you build it you just you just have to put a little bit of time and effort in right it, it, it's easily done i love it all right guys well thank you for your time um, a, a lot of information i took a lot of notes here my whole pad's full <laughs> tristan want tristan wants to thank everyone for their time he i want to thank, thank nick for his beard and uh and he wants to sure thank, I want to thank you tom or gabe but you know we had to have you on so, Dude, <laughs> so, so thanks you guys this is huge this is huge it's huge um Easy too, guys. That's the I'm thing. Like, it's, it's not hard to implement. Yeah, well, we're 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 in the pro. You guys know that we're in the process of of merging all, merging all of our business over to FirePoint, um, and that should be live, I think, soon. Right. It's actually going. I've been working with and chat with Sunshine a little bit. In fact, I'm going to see her next week in Charleston. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Um, so and, and and so by the time LCA uh, one in Detroit. Um, kicks off uh she'll be she'll be able to showcase some some results for firepoint too which will be awesome well, and you brought it up so you might as well plug it really quick you're on there what you guys say have... one <laughs> where when is coming to detroit uh we don't have the website up yet um but it's posted in the 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 event bright is posted in the group, uh, just search LCA one in, in the group and you'll find the event, right? But by next week, the whole website will come on, but we don't know if you're going to be there, Gabe, it's on the 16th. I, Did you figure it I'm out? Gonna, I, I think I'm be able to make it. Yeah. I mean, cause you guys post it right on top of another one, but I believe I'm going to be able to come in for the day and get it and make it happen. So I, I, I don't want to miss it. So I missed the last one. I got stuck in a blizzard. I got stuck in a blizzard in Denver. Dude, I remember that. <laughs> well, hopefully I, it's Denver, so it'll be nice and sunny before, before we let you guys go. Remember this, um, this example of what Tom and Gabe gave, Nick and I are actually doing, we've done this for a long time. We have our lender partners involved with our CRM, helping us with leads like we have on FirePoint. So I put up a link there for FirePoint. If any of you are interested in taking a look at what FirePoint is. Yes, um, thank you. It's actually .net, but that's close. 
That's that's your fault, Gail. I'm gonna, <laughs> on you, and I'm gonna also blame it on. Actually, actually, no. Do a slash LCA because we have a promo for all LCA people. So if you guys are seeing this and want to learn more about FirePoint, we love these guys. We love working with you. Um, so when when you say you're part of the LCA network and everything like that, uh, they have special deals for you. So when you check it out and look into it. Um, uh, use that link especially or at least tell them uh, that you're part of LCA because uh, we love these guys we want to take care of you and help you get up and running and, and going so I blame zoom that's all I got <laughs> zoom you typed in dot net and zoom changed it to dot com I, it, I it's know. it's not my fault <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys well thanks for being on right. awesome guys thanks later see you bye, bye.